Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with my little kitchen cookbook binder and um, we're gonna work on it a little bit today. I'm sorry, it's, I've had so many things going on that it's taken me a while to get to this and there were a lot of people who who were excited about it and wanted to craft along. So um, I have done some things in this, which I will I will do a flip through kind of and show you and talk through what I've done. And then we'll get started working for today. First, I want to say hi and hugs to Dawn, Sonia, Deidre, and Claire. Thanks so much for watching and for your nice comments and everything. So uh, cookbook, food. On the other side of that, <laughs> on the other side of that, let's talk about exercise because um, what I wanted to share with you, and I need a little piece of paper. I am going to write this, this down. Um, my son-in-law's sister, Andy, has um, a YouTube channel where she teaches Pilates. She has a studio in Washington, and um, of course, it's closed right now. And so I thought if you wanted to get a little bit of exercise in the comfort of your own home, where we kind of all are right now, that you might want to go over to Andy's um, YouTube channel and and exercise with her. And she, um, I will put her link for her YouTube channel in the description box of this video. So, yeah, I just had a big visit with Andy this morning, just kind of checking in and and seeing how everybody's doing. It's and they're doing they're doing well, but, you know, home like everybody else. Okay. So, let's talk about this. Um, yep, I'm in camera. So, uh what I have done so far is I put a pocket on here and that was because uh wherever I got this, this binder, they had written right here and I wanted to cover that up. So we've gotten that done. Um, I've also, I left the first couple of pages and on each of these dividers, there was stuff. Um, it was basically the table of contents for that section that was on each of these. And I've just covered it and decorated a little bit. So let me get something to use as a card. So there's a big pocket here. I think, okay, I just covered that and I made a, cup, a pocket there. So there's that. And then I left the title page kind of that was original to the cookbook in there. Then this um, is a digital by Artie Mays. And I think it's just called Cookbook. I forgot to look it up before I started filming here, but... Um, You'll find it in her Etsy shop. I'll I'll link her Etsy shop below and try and remember to put the actual name of this kit. But I think it's called Cookbook. It ha mine had a sticky note on it that said Cookbook, and I have um, printed on both sides. This was one of my digitals that I've had for a long time in my Artie Mays file, and just thought it was perfect for this book. Then each section also has a piece of. Um, scrapbooking paper. This one I just folded up and made a pocket there. Let's get these sleeves out of my way. Then this one pocket here, the Artie Mays page, the scrapbook page, and then this one flips out. So lots of room there. Um, this one pocket here, it's got a little crunchy green pea salad in there. <laughs> I think this is just glued on. Yep. And then this is a pocket, a little side pocket right there. This one, Artie Mays. The, once again, the scrap of paper. And then on this one, there was just a little bit written down there. So um, I just made this a little tuck with one of the journaling cards from the scrapbooking we go and then this one's got a little pocket there and then this one pocket here then there's a pocket here and then a little skinny pocket there 
that I think a tag or something for that would be fun. Um, the Artie Maze again, and then the scrapbooking paper. This one has a pocket right here. And then all of them have this pocket. Then the title page, the Artie Maze, the scrapbooking paper again has a pocket there. This one has a tuck there. Artie Maze. Just a little bit of scrapbooking paper, and so I made a pocket right here so that um, you could put lots of recipe cards in there. This one's a pocket up top. Artie Maze again, scrapbooking paper. This one is a pocket, a big pocket, like, like, a, like page size pocket, <laughs> I would call that. Um, this just made a pocket with a um, recipe card. And then, um, then this one has a pocket here and a pocket here. This one, big pocket here. This one is um, made from the pages of the book, but again, it's a it's a big old pocket. It's actually double. No, it's not double. I have something in this pocket. That's what that is. So I have strawberry cake and strawberry glaze cake in there. So I already put something in that pocket. had myself a big work session while watching uh, HGTV the other day on this on this journal. But I really wanted to finish the Italian journal before getting on this one. Okay, so then this one, it, it was just plain, so I didn't decorate it. And the scrapbooking paper and... And then this one, I like this for basic food groups. So I just left that. This one, once again, pocket at the bottom. And then Artie Mays and another piece of scrapbooking. And this has a little tuck there. So that's what I've done so far. So um, when I'm doing these binder journals, I like to just do sort of uh, a pattern in after each of the index cards that just works best for me so we have we have some stuff to either make or decorate with i will show you i have all of this ephemera from um from the Artie maze digital and so i'm thinking it would be fun to put all of this in there now look at this big old it's a big old like file folder. I'm kind of thinking that would be fun in this front pocket here. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Okay. Well, we're, I'm just going to get started and we're going to start filling the pockets and, you know, just doing whatever strikes us. Let's see here. I have all my off cuts of scrapbooking paper here in case I want to add a pocket or something. But I need to move them over so I can put this here so I don't feel so squished. Cause I need to I need to glue this and I don't want to do it on the book. So so yeah I hope this finds everyone doing well and um, enjoying their families and all. I had a big visit with my youngest daughter this morning. Things are going well there. Little Mr. Bucky is still sick, but um, going to the going to the doctor doesn't work very well if you're just regular sick these days. So um, they're just kind of taking care of him at home. But while we were talking on the phone, he pulled himself up on his toy box. First time he'd ever done that. So that was exciting. Um, 
Now on this binder, to go back to the binder for a second, um, I do usually leave things fairly plain because people are going to want to do their own thing and stuff in their own recipes and stuff. But I do want to add, you know, some fun things they could always pull out if they wanted to, too. So here's a cute envelope. Look at this cute envelope. I might leave that like that. You could put several recipes on that, actually. So that might go in a pocket. Um, what do we have for maybe this little pocket? That's kind of cool. Flint's baking powder. And you could write a recipe on the back of there, right? Okay, so that's fun. I just want things in the pocket so that whoever gets this journal knows there's a pocket there, you know. So, this is kind of cute. And maybe... There's some big old, big old tags here too. Um, that's a big pocket. What can we? Oh, there's a couple of, a couple of these envelopes, and they are printed on both sides with lines. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave them like that. Uh, yeah, so anyway, chatted with her and um, her her restaurant is reopening for um, takeout and delivery. And so she's very busy getting her people scheduled and I'm so proud of her. I feel like she's going above and beyond because of course there'll be fairly limited hours and so she is trying to find her employees part-time work at DoorDash and she said something else I can't remember the name of the other thing but um but yeah I I don't know how many employers are actually trying to find work for their em employees but she is bless her heart so um Fairy cakes. How fun is that? It's so fun. Um, this is like a, a coin envelope. I'm going to leave these un, um, these unglued just in case people want to write a recipe on the inside of those. Oh, you know what? Let's might do something different here. That will stick a tag in there. I'm going to use this in this skinny spot. Maybe. No, I'm not. It's not skinny enough. Um, what else do I have? I have some pockets too. And have those out when I but maybe we'll do something with those on some of the plainer um, scrapbook paper okay so I don't think I'm gonna have anything that fits into that little we'll have to make something which would be kind of fun to do too okay I was just looking at this little this little piece what I'm going to do is just cut this off right here and put that in. I just want somebody to know that's a pocket. And then I should have some journaling cards that might um, I should get these in front of you so you can see that's cute, isn't it? Okay. So see, like on one of these, I could put a pocket, couldn't I? Be fun. Okay. 
Um, yeah, so I had a big visit with her this morning, and then I talked with Andy. Um, she had a couple of questions about YouTube, and I think I was able to help her, which made me so happy. Because um, it's all, you know, it's all such a learning curve when you very first start, you know. So, um, I don't have my bone folder right in my hands, so I'll <laughs> use my scissors. Um, yeah, so anyway, that was good. She was wondering about the speed of uploading because it's taken her like 14 hours to do um, a half hour video, to upload a half hour video. And I understand that because that was how it was with me until we got these um, Google Wi-Fi hubs. Once we got those, it, my my speed of uploading went way up. So that was great. Yeah, so, so anyway, did that. And then she was wondering how she could see the names of her subscribers because um, she does have a video with her daughter that she, I don't think she's published that one yet, but she wants to, but um, she wants to be able to kind of look at who is subscribing to her channel, which is a good idea. So anyway, um, we, it took us a while, but we figured that out too. So that was good. Um, how about this one? Best cook ever. And then there's this little girl. That's a good one for there. Okay. This is just first pass, guys. We'll do we'll do more than this, but I just I want to use these things that. I have already printed. Okay, so there is another spot that we could maybe do one of these pockets. We'll do a pocket on the pocket. Um, yeah, so talked with her and then my hubby, bless his little heart, had run out to Walmart because we needed a furnace filter. And he checked to see if my prescription was there because, you know, all my cardiologist doctoring is via the phone. And they were supposed to send this prescription last week and it's not there. So had to get on the phone and all circuits were busy for a while. But finally I got through. I can't even imagine how busy they are. But, um, but you know, there's still people that need general medical help <laughs> that is not related to the virus. So I finally got through, so that was good. So they said they'd call me back, <laughs> but um, I figured if they're filling the prescription, they can leave a message because, you know, I film on my phone. So I have airplane mode on at the moment. <laughs> okay, so I don't want anything super tall to go there because I want that pocket to be pocket two. But maybe, let's see, what else do I have to put in there? Um... Maybe we'll just put a tall tag in this one. Okay. That's just fine to begin with anyway. Let's see, this one's a pocket. Let's put something from here. Oh, here's another envelope with a card. Maybe we will go ahead and glue this one. 
So what I like to do on these kind is go on each edge of the flap. Sorry, I the, our doorbell rang, probably a package. And <laughs> UPS guys these days, they put it on they put it on your porch and run, and I don't blame them. <laughs> Okay, so that's good. And then this little journaling card goes on the inside of this one. So we'll put that in. Okay. Doesn't fit, but it'll fit somewhere else. Okay, common sense cookbook. Okay. Then this is a big old pocket, so we need to make something for that. Oh, but could we, maybe on the back side, could we do a little, ooh, maybe that one. What do we have left for, I know we've got, we have that one. Okay, this one is plain. And so I'm gonna put that one there. Is this one plain? What do we got going here? Oh, that's a big pocket, okay. This one's plain. That one's already a pocket, so. I think we'll put that there, okay. Got a plan for the pockets. Okay, so this one needs needs something. What if we just put that in there like that? Okay. And this one, we're going to do the pocket on the back just because it makes my eyeballs crazy. It's so busy on the other side. Um, Yeah, so anyway, my husband said, my husband said Walmart was, I'm filming this on a Monday morning, and he said Walmart was practically empty. So, oh, got a FedEx package. It goes, yep, perfect. Thank you, honey. Um, so my husband's so good. He brought it down. He put his, he has his gloves on, and then... I leave it sit for 48 hours before I touch it. So that's that's what's happening here for packages and mail and stuff. Even, you know, the stuff we get from Amazon and all of that too. So that's, that's what we're doing. Um, I believe it was a fellow from the World Health Organization that was on the nightly news and talked about giving your packages 24 hours before you, before you touch them. So we're taking, we're heeding that advice, if you will. Let's see. Um, maybe we could put one of these cute things in there. Yeah. That's cute. Okay, then, <laughs> then what? No, too, too sticky, too sticky. Um, let's see. Oh, how about one of these in here? I love that little person, so. And then we need like a tag or something in that one. Or maybe, maybe I'll have a small enough recipe card. I don't know. So we'll have to address that one. I'm running out of, running out of this stuff over here. There's this big journaling card that's going to go in that pocket. Just kind of let it, let it stick out the top a bit. Ooh, there's a bit. Oh yeah. And we've got the recipe in there. So that's good. Oh, and here's our other pocket. I just, I end up thumbing through this a hundred times before we end up. 
before I end up being done, but, um, oops. Um, yeah, it's been so nice here that Jimmy Joe has really been enjoying the outside. I said to my husband when spring and summer come, I have a feeling he's going to want to be outside all the time. Because, you know, they have a big old coat of fur and he'll probably be too warm in the house. But, but yeah, so he's been very busy playing outside. He's trying to dig up one of our pine trees. <laughs> So we're going to hope he doesn't succeed. <laughs> Goofy boy. So yeah, but um, it's it, it's surrounded by cobblestones and it's right outside our, <coughs> excuse me, our breakfast area. Excuse me. Oh, Got to have water. Hmm. Excuse me. I just uh, choked on my own thoughts of my my thoughts of my pine tree falling down um yeah so he's been doing that and um we have voles with a v um in our yard because we live on a mountain and so um those keep him very busy he's very busy trying to get rid of the voles <laughs> He just sniffs and sniffs and sniffs and then he's just like, where are you? I know you're in here. And uh, and then the squirrels too. Squirrels and the, I, and I don't know about the rabbit. I never see the rabbit. I do see the squirrels. But, you know, the squirrels can be up in the tree and so they're a little, they're a little safer than the, um, okay, that was the winner. I want to put this one somewhere too. Um, Maybe there's somewhere up front that I could. I could just, I could just put it right there. Move this over a little bit. Okay, so we used a lot of that ephemera, which is awesome. Okay, so now I think I'd like to, um, I want to use these two because these are stickers because I am, I mean, I have a couple little scraps, but for the most part, we've used up this scrapbooking paper. So let's see. Good thing come, good things come to those who bake. I think we can put some of these on um, on the various scrapbook papers just to just for fun. Um, I was looking to see if there'd be something, maybe this one. It's kind of kind of silly, and I kind of love that. Put that on there. Um, I also have a bunch of ephemera that um, I have a bunch of ephemera that came out of the binders that I used as junk journal friends binders, and so. I'm thinking I could, don't want to use them all at the front, you know what I mean? So do I have a thicker pocket back here somewhere? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need a bookmark, I need a little scrap of paper for a bookmark to remember where I'm at. So I think I'll put this one here. Um, anyway, finish your thought, Gail. The binders that I use for Junk Journal Friends, um, they had a bunch of stuff in them already. And then, um, you know, I had stuff to add to it. So I ended up 
taking out a bunch of stuff, but I think they're mostly, they're mostly a uh, garden type binder or, you know, so I don't know. Oh, that reminds me of something else I was going to put in here. Okay. Talk amongst yourselves. that are I had a bunch of these um, a bunch of these old recipe thingamajiggies I had a bunch of them um, in my shop and these are the leftovers that I didn't put in my shop so those, these aren't fun. These ones are all, those are the leftover. Oh, yes they are. They're fun on the other side. Some of them aren't fun. Some of them are. Okay. Um, so let's see. I'm going to put these over on this other table and think about those too. Okay. So where are we at here? Where are we at? This I love food is so cute. The kitchen is the heart of the home. That's cute too. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do with this yet, so I'm just going to leave that for now. Oh, it'd be fun to have something right there, wouldn't it? Oh, look at here. Fresh local strawberries, and it's on a strawberry page. Perfect. There. That's fun. Yeah, so... Um... Just gonna... Just gonna put stickers here and there, because why not? Just decorate it up. Yeah, this is a fun little... Um, little authentic paper collection, saucy it's called. Okay, something right there. So how about so delicious? Okay. I think I might put the I love food on this page because it goes really nicely. Um, how am I going to make sure I go straight? Okay, I, I see something that can kind of guide me. Just going by the by the green rolling pin <laughs> to try and make these straight. These are super sticky too, which is great. one there. Could put something on the back of that. Maybe. Just put this on the back of that. 
Ooh, did you hear that? That was Jimmy Joe barking. He's going to be in trouble. He's not supposed to bark in the house. That's a no-no, Jimmy Joe. There's that one. Let's put... Let's do this. Ah, this is very sticky. Okay, I'm gonna put this inside, back inside of it. And then I put this little lady in the middle. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And this one. How about let's just put the kitchen is the heart of the home. Right there. That's cute. And this one. let's eat on it and something on there how about traditional dish and this one About life itself is a proper binge. Julia Child said that. Okay, so now I just have itty bitty things that maybe we can use up here and there. Um, I also have these stickers, but I don't know. They're more picnicky, but we ate here. That would work. So, anyway. Okay, so now flip it back and start at the beginning again. And now I want to hang on. I have to get on the floor here for a sec. I want to get out. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do that. Um... Oh, yes. Just had to get into my um, project boxes on the floor. I want to do something with the fabrics, too. But I thought I would get my recipe cards, too, because I want to use some of those. And I still have these journaling cards. This is a recipe thing in a jiggy kind of these are recipe cards and grandma recipes seven gypsies kind of recipe cards and one from a garage sale <laughs> okay so we'll be going through again I think I just figured out what I wanted to do on that flip out page okay I wanted to put this on the front though, one of these on the front and put it right here from the cookbook collection of, it's kind of like a book plate. So let's pop that on and I'm using I was thinking for a second that might be a label but I don't think it is. Um, I'm using art glitter glue because this is more more like cardstock than regular paper. And I just want to make sure that it stays put. <clears throat> Let's 
do you. Alrighty then. That's a good spot for a sticker. I'm wondering, I think what I might do is put one of these big journaling cards in each of the pockets of these big old pockets, right? Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, let's slip through and do that. Ooh, cakes, pies, and tarts. Ooh, sweet potato pecan pie. Mmm. <laughs> It's making me hungry. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that in there. I have my crunchy green pea there. That's okay. We can add something else. How about a little manicotti? Marinara. Okay. I got these, um, oh, eggs and cheese. Look at that, sausage, eggs, wedges. I got these um, recipe cards at an estate sale. That's where I get most of my supplies, to be honest, uh, in terms of this sort of thing. It's estate sales. I've always said whoever comes to my estate sale is going to make all <laughs> Sausage cheeseburger pizza. Doesn't that sound yummy? I don't think I have any veggies in here. So, oh, how about frosted carrot drops? <laughs> it's my kind of veggie. <laughs> having way too much fun. Okay. Spreads condiments. Don't have any of that either. Um, that looks good. Well, you need a spread or a condiment for your Cajun french fries. Let's just say that. Breads. Do I have any bread? Mostly just cakey sorts of things. Thought I saw, um, yeah, a pound cake. We'll call that bread. <laughs> this is nutrition according to Gail. <laughs> Ooh, sandwiches. Okay, so let's see what we want for sandwiches. Oh. I should get these over so you can see. They're so they're so festive and pretty. Those look like those look like sandwiches. Philo pastry rolls. Those look like a um you know a wrap or something. <laughs> Desserts. Okay, good. How about we'll put the walnut layer cake on that one? Unless I have, no, I really don't. Okay. Um, helpful hints. That would, my helpful hint would be eat more cake. Ooh, butterscotch apple pound cake. Oh my good gravy. That sounds good. 
nutrition. Okay, um, let's put a main dish in just for fun. Ooh, rolled Mexican chicken. Doesn't that sound good? Eero casserole. There's some great recipes in here. Spinach lasagna rolls. Yum, that sounds good, doesn't it? I'm making myself real hungry right here. Okay, and that one doesn't have a pocket. So, okay, we did those. That's good. Alrighty then. Pop those back in there. Oh, I did have breads and stuff in here too, but... Oh, well, that's just fine. That's just fine. Okay, so let's find this one page. I better check the time. Good grief. I'm having so much fun. 15 minutes we have. Okay, I'm going to take this page out for a minute. Because we Ugh, set my book over on the other table for a quick second. Um, what I want to do is make a... I want to make a little pocket out of this fabric. How cute is this fabric? So cute. Okay, I think what I want to do, I'm going to grab a large index card. Maybe. This will work. I just want something to stabilize it. I want um, a base, if you will. Okay, I think I'll cut off the tab of this. These were in my coffee dye drawer. <laughs> Things to coffee dye that I haven't gotten done. Okay, well, let's make this the size it needs to be. Okay. Maybe about right here. Okay, and then I'm going to chop it. Gotta have a flat surface. <laughs> it's the minimum that one needs for, okay, for success, you know? Okay, so I am going to now what I think I might do is wrap it around a little bit. Yeah, I think that's what I might do. I don't know, guys. Just playing. I have all these super cute fabrics that I need to incorporate into this somehow. Okay, that goes that way. All right, so. Okay, I think I'll use Fabri-Tac for this. Um, I'm going to sew it too, so I'm just going to put some Fabri-Tac kind of down the middle. Think. Okay. Okay, then I'm just going to cut. 
cut the edges a little bit. And I'm gonna glue this so I won't sew it to today. I'll wait until it's dry. Or later today I'll do it or something and I'll show you. I'll definitely show you when it's when it's done, but <clears throat> Don't want to sew it when the fabric tack's wet because that's not good. Just giving this a little clip so that it will fold around the card better. Kind of thinking, should I do a fabric flip? You know what I could do? So I could do a fabric flip with some of these cool fabrics and then I could um, I could just like use a plain piece of cardstock or something Jeez, <laughs> scared myself. I hit my lamp. So much lamp action in this new setup that it's a little nuts, but I probably need something stronger than what I have. I don't know. I, I'm not totally pleased with the light yet that I'm working with. It's fine for me, I just don't know if it shows up on film very well, so I'd have to continue that adjustment. Come on. Okay. Just a little on the edge there. Okay. become part of this pocket <laughs> holding the glue down okay so that's going to be the pocket how stinking cute is that and I'll sew around it okay so that's fun so what how much time does that leave us a few minutes let's think about a fabric flip then just for fun Oh my gosh, I don't know how to decide. These are all so, so darn cute. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this one because I have the most of it. And I'm just going to use the template and we'll find some cardstock that's just plain that will work. So that will be fun. Okay. Well, let's see. How much of this do we want, first of all? Maybe just, let me just cut it right where. Why not? A fabric flip in a cookbook. I say, why not? <laughs> see, I'm just having way too much fun. those threads off of there okay so that is gonna go like that I think no I kind of like it like that with the coffee pot on the bottom okay and then I want to use a little bit of this which is so adorable little aprons I mean how cute is that this would be cute in a farmhouse journal too I think I 
I'm having a hard time because I don't want to cover up the coffee pot. I like the coffee pot. I happen to do that just the right. So we might go like that. We'll just we'll just see. And then there's this one. That is so darn cute too. Um a little crooked but I'm deciding I don't care like that then we might need a little lace or something don't know that I have know that I have what I want. Maybe what if we wonder if there's a bit of this is one of Rachel's fun little snippets. That's not too bad as far as this is good with this with the blue. That's good. Let's use some of that. Can't wait till the world gets back to normal and my friend Rachel has stuff in her in her shop again, physical stuff. I love I love shopping at her shop. <laughs> For now, we're kind of all making do with digitals, but I don't know. I might put a few things in. I just I can't decide. I just don't want to go to the post office. Okay, so I think we're going to sew that across the top and we're going to have our, um, we're going to have our fabric flip. We just need to find um, some paper for it. So that introduced my cute fabrics. So I think that's really fun. Okay, I am going to call this a video for this time. And I'll sew, I'll sew across here. I'm just going to do a straight stitch. I'll sew around this and um, get this on. And then I'm just going to, I'm going to fabric tack it onto the page. And that will be, that will be good for this time. So I don't know. I think we are getting very close to the end of this one. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish it up. And then I will do a video and list this on, on my Etsy, I think. So that's that's the plan. So I hope you had fun with this. Um, in the flip through, if I do anything else with it. Um, oh, look at this. Forgot about these that we made. Totally forgot about those. So we got to incorporate those yet also. So anyways... I will, I will finish up this journal. It'll be just gluing on pockets and stuffing things in the pockets, I think. And then, um, and then I'll do the flip through and yeah, I think we'll be, we'll be set. So thanks everybody so much for watching. Take good care of yourselves. Stay safe and well, and have a grateful day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.